They are languishing in 10th. It's quite something, isn't it? You think of it, they are 21 points off Arsenal at the top of the table. It just gets worse and worse, Stevie. That first 15 minutes has to be the worst so far of the season. But why, Stevie? They had the whole week to prepare. Do you know what? They're gone. They asked Klopp and he couldn't, he couldn't tell you. Yeah, well, that, there's a the problem. They've gone. They're when you mine. say gone, what do you mean? There's Would... nothing. Well, well, the, well, you know, a team that was so good last year and could have won four trophies that quadruple, we were so close, they were playing such good football to be in this position. There's nothing... He, there's nothing he's saying or doing. And even if you gave him 10 days off, right. there's nothing he's saying or doing is making a jot of a difference. Mm. There's no changes to the team is making a jot of a difference. The, these players all carried them to Premier League and Champions League, pretty much. There's one or two exceptions. And nothing he's doing is having... Well, put it one way. After the first period when he came in, Almost everything Klopp did, said, signed, had an effect on this Liverpool team in a positive way. Nothing he's doing now is making a jot of a difference. They've absolutely gone at the moment and there's no sign of that turning. The start of the game tells you what Craig's saying is right. Because there is no question that some of the things that Klopp would be talking about would be starting the game properly. Do the, the first thing you do, make sure you do it right. Do it well. Don't, don't let them take the initiative. You know, it, it's all positivity. It's all, this is about us and we need to do that. And then the whistle goes and everybody in red just did that and backed off. They backed off. They did. There was nobody closing the ball. There was nobody making a challenge. Nobody was taking any... Any, any initiative to do anything, they just run around in a, in a fog, in a haze for 15 minutes till they were 2-0 down, and then all of a sudden they started getting in the game. So what Craig says, right, you can't start the game the way they did if they're listening to the manager winding them up before the game. So clearly the message isn't getting through. At the same time, and I'm going to say it again for about the 10th week in a row. If you keep setting your team out to play a certain way and they keep showing you that they can't do it anymore, time after time after time, then you have to change it. And not only do you have to change it because it's not working, you have to change it just to try and spur something. Right. I mean, you talk about monotonous. You know, you get in, we all get in ruts and you have to change something, right? Well, he's not changing anything. Well, he's changed he's some just, of the personnel. He's just doing this. Bicicic is coming in. Fabinho's out. Milner, Henderson. But he's been doing it since the start of the season. He's, he, he's continually changing it. OK, he's got injuries. But he's tried every single change, personnel, and it's still not working. So you've got to change the way you play. You can't just keep throwing them out in the same shape, using the same players who time after time showed you that right now they can't do it. So why would you keep doing it? It makes no sense. Don, what's the answer? Ah, if anyone knew the answer, um, you know, Jurgen Klopp would know the answer. I think you're looking at a team when you looked at that 11 there, Dan, and there's probably Bacetic in the middle of the park who's fresh into the side that's playing OK. There's Alisson in the middle of the goals who's playing OK. The rest of them, every single one of them, when you look at that, you look Andy Robertson, Trent, Matip, Gomez... Keita, Thiago, Gakpo, Nunez, Salah, all out of form. So you pick 11 players, there's nine of them that's out of form. They're leaking goals. Uh, they don't close down in the middle of the park. That's three there. There's not a Jurgen Klopp midfield three. Never, never will be. There's not enough energy. There's not enough height. There's not enough strength in there. There's no power. So the front men ain't scoring goals. I mean, Wolves are the lowest scoring Premier League team this season in the Premier League. Just put three past Liverpool. I mean, every single week, it's sort of, we're, we're sort of writing a brand new low for Liverpool. My, my worry is, my immediate worry, is when Jurgen Klopp has the conversation with FSG in the summer, because there must be a reason why they didn't go for anyone in, in January in the window, they must be, pe be preparing for something big in the summer. This rebuild for Liverpool is going to cost probably close to £200 million. Yeah, but like, if, if, if so, you, talk, you talk about that, and obviously you think, oh, well, Jude Bellingham, 
why on earth yeah. would you Bellingham go to Liverpool at the moment? Well, because, well no, because Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool are still a sell. You're looking at a team that's been out of form in seven years. Jurgen Klopp's been there. You're looking at a team that's out of form in what five months, six months. So it's still a pull. He can be given the Liverpool number eight shirt, the new Steven Gerrard. That's all the talk that's happening behind the scenes. And then say, listen, this is a one-off. We'll win the Premier League next year. We'll win the Champions League next year. But you, you must join. Anyway, parking that. £200 million. My worry is, if he puts his hand at Jurgen Klopp and FSG and the owners say no, my worry is he might say, what can I do? And he might just walk away because he needs help. We're looking at Chelsea spending £600 million. Liverpool need massive financial help off the owners in the summer. That's my worry. What are they going to do to help the manager? Uh, well, I, I can, I can, I'm kind of with you in a way and I'm kind of not. 200 million, by the way. If Enzo Fernandez has just gone for 120 million, so you're getting a player and a half at top quality. Unless you can go out and nick a bargain, if you think Gakpo's a bargain, he hasn't, it's been difficult for him, but he's coming into a poor side at the moment. But we keep talking about these rebuilds. Right. What am I missing? We've got Diaz to come back. Okay, he's out, but when he comes back. But still, Salah and Nunes, 100 million plus Nunes, right? Fabinho, champions, you know, all these players are top players. Van Dijk, Gomez, Matip, Canati. They were all around. Mm -hmm. Robertson, Trent Alexander-Arnold. What am I missing here? Where's the rebuild? Well, the, 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 the rebuild's this, this, in the middle is, of the park. Well, I've just mentioned. The, 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 who? Who? Henderson. Milner, Fabinho, well, well, Keita, Thiago. Right, they're all players that have won Premier League. And, are, are you saying they're finished? And it's just the players, not, it's not the no. manager. I'm not saying they're finished, but what I would say is when you look at Jordan Henderson and Fabinho especially, I never saw, I never saw the drop off in standards and the amount of the lack of closing down that Fabinho can, can't do all of a sudden. So I think when you look at what Liverpool have got to work with in terms of goalkeepers, backline and front men, you know, it, most, most coaches in Europe would want Liverpool's backline and front men. The obvious answer, especially when you look at the three today, those three technically are good players. They're not Jurgen Klopp midfield players. They're not the guys that rat around and feed it to the front men like Gini van Alden done and Jordan Henderson and Fabinho in their prime were doing. But listen, These are three the, technical the, the, players listen, that you're Fabinho, looking at today. Fabinho just never stopped being able to shot the ball down, right? It just, it just, didn't, it just didn't happen. He just never all of a sudden woke up and he couldn't, he couldn't shot the ball down. It's a it looks like it. No, no, it looks like it because he's a consequence of Klopp allowing this team to get away from what made it special, and that's the intensity. We're just not seeing the intensity in this Liverpool side that we saw. I don't think they can do it, Craig. I right, don't think they a, can do it. There's a bottom line here, right? Jurgen Klopp, is a, they're at a place where it comes the summer, if this continues, they won't sack him, and rightly so, because he's turned water into wine in some respect, but there might come a time he looks at his position at this club and the success he's had and think, right, do I forgo this few million pound contract, whatever it is, and I'll walk away because I cannot turn this around. Mm. This team looks like a team that Jurgen Klopp needs to come in and fix. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It looks like a team that he but needs to come in and fix. But he's and only going to be able up. to do that with buying new players. Exactly. Well, How's he, he going to fix it? He no, fixed, no, but what, he no, fixed no, it no, before. No no, 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 no. But what I'm saying is it looks like a team that a manager's been sacked and he would come in and fix it. That's what he's turned them into. These players... Are, everybody's talking about Liverpool new players. What about all these guys that are there? Yeah, they're not... Yeah, but the question is... If we're blaming you, Lampard and, and all these other players no. forever not playing well, why is Klopp not to blame for this scenario? Uh, he, he does have to carry some blame, but he's built up a lot of, right. a lot of goodwill. Which, which means that you have to give him an opportunity to try and rebuild. And I'm with Don. It's the middle of the park. And you're talking about the intensity. Fabinho doesn't look as though he has that intensity in him now. Henderson doesn't. Oxley chamberlain well, doesn't. Well, they had the intensity Keita, six, seven months ago Keita, he had it. Keita, well, he did six, seven months ago, but he doesn't have it now. So seven months is gone. It looks like it. Is that not a He hasn't done anything. No, I he understand. He hasn't done anything no, from the start of the season for, for anybody to be confident it's gone on for such a long period of time, let me put it that way, that it makes you wonder whether it's going to come back with him in particular. But the others, Keita was 70 million. 
He just right. hasn't been good enough. Mm. He's never been fit, but even when he's been fit, he's just not been good enough. We, we all know James Milner's good for the squad player. As we say, I think Henderson, yes, his legs aren't what, what they are. Um, Thiago Alcantara on the ball, yes, he's fantastic. But the Liverpool that was dominant was a team that had the intensity Craig's talking about. He can't do that. He's not, go he's not going to go and do that and, and squeeze up behind the front three when they were at their very best. So they don't... It looks like they don't have anybody in the middle of the park. Right. And I'm talking about anybody. So who's turned the full-backs into poor players? I, I, again. I, well, who's turned the centre-halves into poor players? But the back line can be worked with. The back line right now... Well, it doesn't seem is like all, it. The back line right now is not playing as a unit the way it was. It's not. Alexander-Arnold hasn't changed any. We, we knew he couldn't defend. Said that from the start. Said mm. that four years ago. Robertson needs to just concentrate on what his job is. He's, he's a consequence of everything else as well because he's, he's finding himself half and half. He's finding himself not as far forward as he used to be, but then defensively, he's not far enough back that he can make a difference. So there, there are so many consequences of the problems coming from the middle of the park. There's a reason why... <coughs> excuse me. There's a reason why we say you've got to dominate the middle of the park. It's the engine room, it's this, it's that. Because everything works off it. That's the heartbeat of the team. Uh, right, well, one second. Nobody looked at this Liverpool squad at the start of the season. <coughs> let, 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 let's, let's, let's roll it out here. Nobody looked at this Liverpool squad at the start of the season <coughs> and said they're all finished. No. Nobody. Absolutely Right, not. nobody. Correct. Man City didn't... All right, Man City spent a lot of money. Liverpool have spent a fair bit. And obviously, Chelsea have gone nuts. Man City didn't go out and buy six players. Unless I'm missing some. Right, they got Akanji <coughs> and they got Haaland. Liverpool... Off the top of my head, off his Gakpo January, but they got Nunez. Mm -hmm. Two, all right, Haaland's further down the road in his progression, but they're two hundred million pound players. So there wasn't a lot of difference. Not like Pep Guardiola and Man City went out and bought a new half a team. They didn't. At, at the start of the season, Liverpool spent the money. They spent almost, you know, the same as City. Nobody at the start of the season said, "Oh, Robertson's finished. Alexander, this is this can't continue. Van Dijk stuffed. The midfield's gone." The front line's horrible. Nobody. No. So, seven months down the line, all those facets of the team are not working. Well, think about Who that. has to take the responsibility for that? The manager. But it helps. Right. But he has to be able to rebuild I... it. He has to be able to change it. 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 But you're re what, I don't it, understand what you're rebuilding. When you never... You're rebuilding the at, middle of the park. At the start of the season, did you look at the middle of the park and go, oh, that needs a rebuild? Well, no. But well, you, exactly. Listen, you, was, you just said it. <laughs> you just said it about 20 seconds ago. Seven months ago, nobody said... Seven months is a long time. Seven months is a long time to not be able to run around and be as intense as you used to be. You know, if, if a team goes through a couple of month period or five or six games where everybody looks a little sluggish, then OK. But to be doing it for seven months and think that, what, it's just all of a sudden... All of a sudden, it's not just I'm going not to change. It. All of a sudden, you've got to I'm think, hold on a second, there's a bigger problem I'll, here. I'll give you James Milner and that, at his age. And that. I'll give you James Milner at his age and I'll give you Thiago. Well, Thiago, tell me, Thiago, tell me but, why but, Henderson never plays 90 minutes. Why does Henderson never play 90 minutes? Listen, Henderson, Henderson, did all, Henderson could have been off the bench and on the bench and been used and not used for 24 months now, right? He's play, he, <laughs> Henderson could... He, he hasn't Henderson, played 90... When was the last time he played 90, he played 90 minutes all I'm season? Not, I'm... Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.